name's Mrs Dahl from Wolverhampton Music Service and this short video is a follow-on from my first introducing you to third position. So if you haven't watched that yet, you may want to. The video is for those of you playing the violin who are about grade three standard and I'm going to be showing you how to play a two octave scale and arpeggio for D major before playing a well-known tune in third position. Let's get ourselves warmed up by playing the one octave D major scale with separate bows, which you should all know by now. So grab your violin and place your bow on the D string. And remember, we walk our fingers up in step, up to the third finger on the A string, and then back down again, like this. <laughs> Okay, everyone, I'll count you in with four. Is everybody ready? One, two, three, four. Well done. Now to play a two octave, D major scale, we need to play another eight notes higher, which we can't do if we stay in first position because we will run out of fingers and notes. So we have to shift into third position on the A string when we get to the third finger. So this is how we play the first octave, starting on the open D. shift. Now a few things that you need to remember. When we shift up into third position remember to bring the thumb with the rest of the hand together. Remember they move as one unit. Also if you're getting that slide sound as you're moving into third position, if you release the pressure off your finger a little that will improve. And also remember to keep your wrist and your thumb down. Right, you're going to have a go with me now. So get your bows on the D string after four. One, two, three, four, D. <laughs> Well done everyone. Now when we've moved into third position with the first finger we then carry on walking our fingers on the A string up to the, using the fourth finger as well before then going onto the E string and walking up to the fourth finger which is your top D note. Let me play you the whole two octave scale. When we come back down, we move down into first position in exactly the same place that we went up. When we get down to the first finger on the A string, we then shift position back to the second finger on the A string in first position. Everybody get your bows ready and let's have a go at that slowly. So, bows on the D string. After four, one, two, three, four. Shift. 
and down. Shift down to second. Well done. You might want to pause the video now so that you can practice. I'm going to go through now the fingering and position change for playing a D major two octave arpeggio. Again, you should know how to play a D major one octave arpeggio, which uses the notes D, F sharp and A. But just to remind you, I'm going to show you that. So for a one octave arpeggio, When we play a two octave arpeggio, we move up into third position in exactly the same place on the A string with our first finger, like this. Shift. Try that with me. So pick up your violins, okay, get your bows on the D string. Ready, one, two, Three. Shift. Well done. So, as you're playing that open A, your hand can be shifting up into third position. Well done. Now, once we're in third position, we need to play the second octave. So, we start with our first finger in third position on the A string. That is your D note. So we're playing first finger, then third for an F sharp, first finger for an A, and fourth for your high D. And then we come down in exactly the same way with using the same fingers. And when we get back to the first finger on the A, then we move down as we're playing the open A back into first position. Let's have a go at that all together, okay? I'm going to try and play the whole arpeggio. Right, bows on the open D. We play this really slowly. After three. One, two, three, D. <laughs> Again, you might want to pause the video now to practice that. Now, I think all of you will know the tune to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So we're going to have a go at playing that in third position, but up high, using the notes that we've just played in the top octave of the D major scale. So to begin with, we're going to get our hand into third position by shifting our first finger on the A string to where the third finger normally sits in first position. Now I'm going to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star starting on my first finger on the A string which is the D note. So just have a listen. It's really important that you keep your first finger down so that your hand doesn't lose the third position. We're going to have a go now at playing the first four bars together. So 
after the first two notes with your first finger, we roll that first finger over onto the E string for our second two notes. And then we're coming down onto the A string in step using the fourth finger. So we're going to play that really slowly. After four, one, two, three, four. Coming down. Well done. Remember to pause the video at any time if you want to practice this. The next four bars come down in step from the first finger on the E string, which is the A note, down onto the A string and then it is all repeated, just like this. Right, let's try that together. So get your first finger on the E string this time in third position, and we're just gonna practice coming down from that first finger note. After four, one, two, three, four. Brilliant. And then the last four bars of the piece are exactly the same as the very first four bars at the beginning. So let's pick up our violins and let's see if we can try it all the way through. So get your first finger in third position on the A string on the note D and I'll count you in for four. One, two, three, four. Fantastic everyone, you've worked really hard today. Remember, keep going back in the video and pausing it so that you can practice what I've shown you today. And to finish with, a little challenge. When you feel confident at playing Twinkle Twinkle, why don't you try and see if you can play Frere Jacca in third position, starting with your first finger in third position on the A string. Thank you for watching the video. If you've enjoyed it, please like it and subscribe to the channel. And remember to have a look for new videos coming out every Monday. Thank you. Bye everyone and keep practicing.